Hi, can everybody hear me okay? Very good. Yes, Father. And all the way in the back as well? Uh, yes, Father. Okay, perfect. I just want to start off by saying morning, brothers and sisters, or afternoon, whatever it might be. I appreciate everyone showing up today. It's quite, quite, quite a turnout. Uh, no, thanks for wanting to listen to the word of the Lord. Uh, we'll start off how we always start off with a little prayer from the book. So, our Father, who are in heaven, how be thy name? A kingdom comes, I will be done. Our says if in heaven. Let us just say, the only bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forget those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, and deliver us from evil. Father, please bless each and every one of them in the church here with us today. It's so good to see everyone. In your name I pray, amen. 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 Well, peace be with you all. So, just like last week, I think this week we're going to start off with a little story. And the story's going to lead in. It's going to be about a little bit. Uh, before we start, we're going to ha have a few new helping hands with us in the church here. Uh, I'm going to have you individually uh, uh, introduce yourself, if you if you will go ahead and do that. Hello, uh, my name is Cletus, Cletus Brock. Um, also a preacher here, helping out with Father uh, Janus here. Um, my, brother, my cousins on the back, uh, uh, they're brothers. And uh, yeah, I'm Cletus, nice to meet you all. Hello, Cletus. Hello, Cletus. Hello, Hello Cletus. Nice, Thank nice you. to meet you, Cletus. Nice to meet you, Terry. I'm in in the back here. I'm Zade, Zade Fletcher. Very good to see you all today. And I'm happy to be here. Howdy, Zade. Welcome, Zade. Nice to meet you. And my name's uh, Braxton Fletcher. I'm blessed to be here. Nice to meet y'all. Welcome, Braxton. Nice to meet good you. to meet you. Good to meet you. Hi, right, fellas. You know, uh, these three young fellas are gonna be my help a hand around here and help help everything get a bit more situated. Uh, God willing, he he brought them to my doorstep, so I welcome them with open arms, as I hope everyone here will do as well. So, uh, as as I said, I'm gonna start with a little story today, and that's gonna lead us into into what our sermon's about. So, uh. Uh, I'm not gonna say how long ago, but let's just say a feller and myself or we're doing hard days work of farming. Right? We're, we're trying to help provide for the people and maybe put a bit of a little extra cash in our pocket when well at one point I got attacked by wolves and, and the doctor had to help us out. And then when, when we got back to farming, a, a gentleman approached us and, and we were out in the bush and I figured nothing of it at first. And, there's three more fellers, and then four fellers, there was a total of six or something. You know, these fellers, they had the guns to our face, and... Well, let's just, let's just say they took everything we did with drugs, I'd say. And I was, I was, I was pissed. I uh, don't want to cuss, but I was pissed. Uh, we spent a hard work trying to, trying to farm and provide for people, and it was just taken away. It was, it was almost like the devil's doing. But in, instead of trying to find these fellers and I'll get exact to my revenge to them, I sat down and I started asking the Lord, how could someone do that? And, oh, I don't know. He reached out to me and he told me that, you know, sometimes there's someone who's not, doesn't have much, you know, they feel like they need to take things from people. And so his message to me was, you know, as much as I want to get revenge on them, Maybe they needed it more than I did at that current time. So you know what? I I, I never seek my revenge on them. I uh, I just kind of just kind of let it happen and I let it be. And, you know, if I ran into those fellows today, I was still blessed and welcomed them with open arms. And, and they just needed it more than I did at that time. I could always replant and regrow. And, you know, if if they're struggling, if people have to do what they have to do. So today's sermon, it's, uh, I've titled today's sermon is Revenge. It's a good and a bad. The desire for revenge is it's, it's a natural human emotion. It's like I felt with those fellows there. 
I, sh I wanted to take everything they had. And w when, when someone wrongs us, we feel hurt and angry. And, and we want to retaliate. Well, you know. However, revenge can also be a good and bad. It can be good and bad consequences. And it's kind of important for us to understand what, what implications come with seeking revenge. On the one hand, seeking revenge, I mean, it can provide a sense of justice and closure. I mean, if I suck revenge on them, I would have got my stuff back and I would have made them feel as horrible as I felt. When someone's hurt us, it's, it's kind of natural to want to see them suffer the way I wanted to see those fellas suffer. And revenge can give us that feeling of satisfaction when, when, you know, when justice has been served, especially if it's your own hand. In this, in, in this sense, well, in this sense, revenge can be a good thing. However, revenge can also lead us to a cycle of violence and hatred. When we seek revenge, we, we perpetuate the harm that was done to us. And, and, and we may even want to escalate the situation. Well, I, I do own some guns and, you know, if those fellas wanted to defend themselves, who knows? They would have... Uh, I might have had to shoot one and that would have brought us back to our, our last sermon about mistakes. No, that would have been a mistake on me. Revenge, revenge, it can also consume us. Taking over our thoughts and, and, and emotions and, and causing us to become bitter and resentful. Well, in this sense, revenge can be very bad. It's a very bad thing. So, you might ask what we should do when we're wrong. And it's, it's, it's really, you know, it's tough to determine what we should do because we're, we're filled with so much emotion. Anger and hatred all at once. But, you know, the book, the book teaches us forgiveness. Forgiveness is not the same as forgetting or excusing the harm that was done to us. Instead, uh, forgiveness, well, that, that means it's, uh, it means realizing the desire for revenge and choosing to love our enemies as, as I have done with those fellows that, that took my whole days of farming work. I feel no hatred or anger towards them. Uh, I, I, as I said, I will, I will welcome them and bless them with open arms. It means, it means recognizing that revenge will, will not bring true justice or healing. But you know what? Forgiveness can. Jesus, Jesus himself demonstrated the power of forgiveness. Look, look, just like he is behind me. While he was up on that cross, he prayed, Father, for Father forgives him. They not know what they do. And I, I, that's, in, that's in the book. From Luke 23, 34. Even in the midst of his own suffering, Jesus chose to forgive. Now forgiveness is a very difficult thing to do. It's not going to come easy for anybody. It's not going to come natural for anybody either. Forgiveness is something that's kind of just built into us. And we have to discover. It's, it's, forgiveness is not an easy thing. It also may require us to let go of our pride. And desire for revenge. In order to truly forgive. We have to truly forget about revenge. But when we choose forgiveness. We open the door to healing. And reconciliation. We break the cycle of violence and hatred and create a space for love and grace. So, if I see those fellas again, the ones that robbed me, I would not do anything in retaliation. I would not seek revenge. Uh, and to be frank and honest in this church today, I wouldn't even bring up the idea of what happened in the past. I would just continue on like it's the first time meeting. Well, I guess the last thing I want to say is, revenge can, can have both good and bad consequences, really. While it may provide a sense, a sense of justice, it can also perpetuate violence and consume us with bitterness. Instead, let's choose forgiveness. Following the example of Jesus, and creating a space of healing and reconciliation. Let's remember, forgiveness 
Hey, let's not forget it. Forgiveness is a is an act of love and kindness. And with that, I want to pray. I mind. I welcome you, father. We should, we, we might be a little man. later. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, 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 for the most part, that's what I just wanted to speak about today was, you know, revenge, it really can't consume us. Uh, I watch, I watch some fellers be the happiest in the world, and they, then they, uh, something happened where they, they, they couldn't change the outcome or the situation. It just consumed them, and the hatred of wanting to grab that revenge back, and it's, it's an overpowering and overwhelming at the same time. And, uh, sometimes uh, it is best to just kind of let go and let things be as they are. Just move forward. Those memories and those feelings will always be there. But it depends on how you can control them. It depends how strong you are. Forgiveness is also about strength. You gotta be strong to be able to forgive. Uh, if you can forgive, and you won't have to seek revenge. Amen, Elsa. Amen, Elsa. Would you like to add anything or far? Uh, Father, if I may. Of course. Uh, for everyone, uh, those who came in, like, uh, a little later, um, Cletus, Cletus brought, I'm also, uh, a preacher here at church. Uh, I just want to speak upon some some Bible verses that mean a lot to me and might, might help you uh, in regards to revenge and whatnot. So uh, first one, uh, 1 Peter 3, 9, uh, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing because to this uh, you recall so that you may inherit his blessing. Um, and another one is Leviticus 19:18. Um, and do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people, but love your neighbor, neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. And uh, and a last last verse for everyone, um, just to kind of close out for my remarks, uh, would be Proverbs twenty one twenty one. Uh, whoever pursues righteousness and love uh, will find life, uh, prosperity, and honor. Amen. Hey man, y'all, yeah, what's up? Hey man. Hey man, no, sir. Hey man. My fellas in the back, you have anything to add as well? You alright, Larry? Not, not at this time, brother. I think it's a little bit perfect. Okay. Well, if, if anyone else has anything to add, if, if everyone wants to, to line up, I, I have some, some holy waters for everyone and, and some communion. If, if anyone needs some food as well, we, this, this week we do have some goulash. You know, always, always give them back. If uh, no more remarks, everyone can uh, get up and make a little line here, and uh, Father will be happy to pass out some uh, like some bread and whatnot. Goulash he makes. He makes it all himself. 